Hi, I'm Carolyn Gage, and I'm going to be talking to you about a reading of a play of mine, a one-act play that is coming up. It's called Artemisia and Hildegard, uh, an exorcism in one act. I'm going to be reading the play with Akia Woods, an actress from Oregon, and the play will be followed by a talkback moderated by Dr. Stripe Gandara. It's going to be live streamed for free on January 3rd at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. It will not be recorded. The reading is free, but you do have to register. There's going to be a link below for registering. And we do accept donations. The registration, um, you'll get an email when you register, and it will have information about how you can donate if you choose to do so. Also, if you'd like to be an official sponsor, just email me, and I can tell you how that works. So let me say a little something about Artemisia and Hildegard and exorcism in one act. This is one of my most personal plays. It came out of my experience with founding and directing lesbian theater companies after having worked for five years in mainstream theater. Those experiences were exhilarating and frustrating, and they were inspiring and disillusioning. It was like being wildly in love and desperately heartbroken at the same time. The play is going to explore the tensions between artists who assimilate and those who choose not to. It's about the ways that artists who are underrepresented and or from marginalized communities are pitted against each other in the cruelest ways <clears throat> by the mainstream culture. It's about the price that an artist pays for writing plays by, for, about, and serving the interests of a marginalized community. It's really about the conditions that give rise to the kind of cancel culture that we find ourselves in today with regard to women and women's culture. It's about the male gaze. It's about art that addresses violence against women. It's about art that is secretly coded to escape the censors. It's about all those strategies for survival that women artists have participated in and deployed across the centuries. This is a play that raises more questions than it answers, and that's why I'm hoping that viewers are going to stay for the talk back after the show. My fellow actor, Akia Woods, was in my first lesbian theater company 30 years ago. It was called No to Men Productions. It was in Ashland, Oregon, and as you can imagine, it was explosive for that small community. Um, it was in the bosom of the legendary lesbian land collectives. There were more lesbian land collectives per capita in Southern Oregon at that time than there were anywhere in the world. And it was an amazing culture. It was for me a profoundly decolonizing experience. It changed everything about who I thought I was and what I thought my work should do. It was, uh, it, well, it was just amazing, and this play is is a, a product of that uh, of that culture and that time. So for me, this reading is something of a reunion and a homecoming. The talk is going to be moderated by Dr. Stripe Gandara, who brings her background in women's studies as well as her commitment to lesbian culture to the table. Because this is a Zoom webinar, participants are gonna to have to type their questions instead of raising their hands, but I am still anticipating a very lively and significant conversation. So I hope that you will all register ahead of time because you have to do that because they send you the link, um, that you'll register ahead of time and um, join us for this, uh, this exorcism, this evening of theater and conversation about deep lesbian politic. See you there.